Did Luke McFarlane and his partner just announce the birth of a baby girl? Is Hallmark's new movie all about an Indian American romance? Well, there's a lot to unpack here today as we dive deep into the latest Hallmark gossip. Luke McFarlane, the charming star from Hallmark, is embarking on a whole new chapter in his life. He recently spilled the beans about his adorable baby girl and also spilled some tea about his loving partner as well. And let me tell you, his friends and fans couldn't contain their excitement. Social media was buzzing with congratulatory messages for the new dad. McFarlane has been pretty open about his sexuality and has spoken up about the same. The brother's actor expressed how he felt related to the character of the very first gay rom-com Eve. Uh, there's a lot about Aaron Shepard, my character, that I can relate to. Um, being a gay man and growing up in the 90s, early 2000s, and sort of... Uh, struggles of masculinity and identity and what that means within the culture and the gay culture. McFarland shared details that their little bundle of joy, Tess Eleanor, made her grand entrance on June 4th, 2023. And guess what? They got to bring her home on Father's Day. Talk about a double celebration, right? In his heartfelt post, McFarland said, Tess Eleanor McFarland, born on June 4th, 2023. Our lives got a bit crazy at the start, but we received top-notch care. And on Father's Day, we finally got to bring her home. Her dads can't wait to show her off to all the incredible people and this beautiful world we live in. He even shared a bunch of pictures and videos to make us all melt from cuteness overload. Seriously, it's such a heartwarming sight. Once the news hit the internet, the floodgates opened. Fans and friends swarmed McFarland's social media with tons of congratulatory messages. Allison Sweeney, bless her heart, chimed in with excitement. OMG, this news is absolutely incredible. I am so over the moon happy for all three of you. Congratulations, my friend. Aaron Krakow added to the love fest. This is the best news ever. I am beyond thrilled for you. Nikki Deloach also joined the party, shouting out her congrats. Wow, Luke, this is huge. I'm absolutely thrilled for you. And get this, McFarland tagged a pic of Hig Roberts holding little Tess Eleanor's hand in one of his photos. Plus, he shared a video of them leaving the hospital with their precious cargo. It's clear that McFarland is going to ace this dad gig like nobody's business. Congratulations, Luke McFarlane, on your new journey as a proud papa. We're all rooting for you and sending truckloads of love your way. Up next on the list, the Hallmark Channel just dropped their latest romantic gem from the June Weddings Collection. Make Me a Match made its grand debut on June 24th. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Starring the talented duo of Eva Bourne and Rushi Koda, this flick promises to sweep you off your feet. Director Heather Hawthorne Doyle dubbed it as the very first Hallmark South Asian story, and during production, the movie went by the name Match Me Please. They filmed this beauty in the picturesque region of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. According to the grapevine on social media, they spent a solid 14 days capturing the magic, starting from March 21st. Heather Hawthorne Doyle even gave us a sneak peek behind the curtain, sharing a behind-the-scenes photo on April 11th. And guess what? On May 9th, she posted a video to spill the beans on wrapping up the filming. Talk about keeping us on our toes. Eva Bourne, the leading lady herself, couldn't contain her excitement about being back in the Hallmark family. She spilled the tea to just Jared, saying, I was super grateful for the opportunity, and I was excited that this was the script that I got to have the first leading role with. I had a lot of ideas swirling around in my head about all the things that would come with a lead, but to be honest, all of my worries were completely gone once the second day came. Sounds like a dream come true for her. And let's not forget the lovely Reka Sharma, a native of North Vancouver who couldn't resist sharing some behind-the-scenes tomfoolery on her Instagram. Now let's dive into the stars themselves. Eva Bourne, who plays the enchanting Vivi in the movie, hails from British Columbia, according to her bio. She made her way to Vancouver to chase her dreams, and we're glad she did. You might recognize her from her roles in When Calls the Heart as Clara and Garage Sale Mysteries as Hannah. She's also graced the small screen in Caprica, Psych, Falling Skies, Devil in Ohio, Once Upon a Time, and more. Talk about a rising star. As for Rushi Koda, he takes on the role of Boom in the movie. According to his bio, he made waves as Prashant in the popular Netflix series Never Have I Ever and as Dr. Vic Roy in the beloved Grey's Anatomy. So grab your popcorn because Make Me a Match is here to make our hearts skip a beat. Get ready for love, laughter, and all the feels as this dream team of actors takes us on a magical journey. Let the romance unfold. But did you hear this? The ever-charming Tyler Hines just spilled the beans about his next co-star on the Hallmark Channel. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, the 37-year-old heartthrob shared a sneaky picture from the set of his upcoming movie on the network. 
And guess who was peeking out from behind the camera? None other than Janelle Parrish herself. Now, Tyler didn't give us a full-on glimpse of Janelle's lovely face, but we caught a glimpse of her eyes across the way. Talk about a tantalizing tease. Our curiosity is through the roof, and we're dying to know all the juicy details about this mysterious movie they worked on together. Unfortunately, Tyler didn't spill any specifics about the plot or the release date, but we can already feel the anticipation building. Trust me, the countdown has begun for the big announcement and premiere day. As for Janelle Parrish, she's no stranger to the Hallmark scene. She's already lit up our screens in four Hallmark movies, including Holly and Ivy with Marisol Nichols, Right in Front of Me with Marco Grazzini, Coyote Creek Christmas with Ryan Peavy, and most recently, Family History Mysteries Buried Past. Here are some BTS scenes for the same. Hi, my name is Sophie McLaren and I'm looking for your ex-wife, Jessie. This story is about a genealogist who uses gene study to find people. She's definitely made her mark in the Hallmark universe, and we can't wait to see her chemistry with Tyler. But now, get ready for another dose of Hallmark magic as Tyler Hines and Janelle Parrish team up for what's sure to be a delightful movie. We'll be on the edge of our seats, eagerly awaiting the day when all the details are revealed and we can indulge in their on-screen romance. It's time to add this one to your Hallmark watch list. We've always got some exciting news when it comes to Christopher Palaha, Despite the heartbreaking cancellation of the beloved Mystery 101 Inches franchise, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Actor Christopher Palaha spilled the beans at the recent Christmas Con fan convention in Kansas City, which took place from June 8, 10, 2023. According to People, plans are in motion for a new mystery movie that Palaha believes will be a hit with Mystery 101 Inches fans. Now, we all felt the sting when Hallmark dropped the bombshell of the franchise's cancellation in a casual social media exchange back in April. But fear not, Polaha reassured the crowd during a panel discussion, confirming that Mystery 101 Inches won't be making a comeback. However, he couldn't contain his excitement as he dished out tidbits about the new mystery he'll be a part of. This guy is staying busy, folks. On Home and Family, he spilled the beans on the show, saying, Writers thought it was going to be a good idea to give us some sort of conflict, and I, I guess there's no better way to court a girl than to arrest her father. Yeah, that, that always seems... Polaha made it clear to the Christmas Con attendees that the story of Mystery 101 Inches has reached its end. But here's the juicy part. He teased, you know, stories come and stories go. But I will say that I am extraordinarily proud of something that I'm working on right now that is in the pipeline. Oh, the suspense. It seems the writer's strike put things on pause, but fear not. Because there's a fresh mystery in the works that Polaha can't wait to share with us. But wait, there's more. People also reported that Polaha let slip another exciting possibility. His 2022 Lifetime movie with Angie Harmon, Buried in Barstow, might just become a series. During the Christmas con panel, he spilled the tea, saying, Angie's production company is working on turning it actually into a series, so there's a whole conversation happening right now. Talk about extending the fun! Looks like our love for Buried in Barstow could be rewarded with more thrilling episodes. Count us in! And that's not all on Polaha's plate. This holiday season, he'll be starring in A Biltmore Christmas, a Hallmark movie he filmed alongside Bethany Joy Lenz back in January. Plus, he's got a starring role in a sci-fi feature film called The Shift, produced by the talented Dallas Jenkins, the mastermind behind The Chosen. According to IMDb, we can expect The Shift to hit the screens in January 2024. So, dear fans, keep your spirits high because there's plenty of Polaha goodness coming our way. Get ready for a thrilling new mystery, the possibility of Buried in Barstow becoming a series, and some heartwarming holiday magic in a Biltmore Christmas. And don't forget to mark your calendars for the sci-fi treat, The Shift. It's a Polaha-packed future, and we couldn't be more excited. Get ready to celebrate, folks, because actress Emily Osment has some exciting news to share. You might know her from the CBS sitcom Young Sheldon and her appearances in two Hallmark Christmas movies. Here is a little sneak peek of her Christmas movie, A Very Merry Bridesmaid. He's a groomsman, I'm a bridesmaid. Love happens, maybe. Maybe. You'll have to watch and find out. She proudly announced her engagement to her longtime boyfriend, Jack Anthony. The magical moment went down in Yosemite National Park, and she couldn't contain her joy as she took to Instagram on June 25th, 2023, to spill the tea. Osment shared a stunning photo showcasing her unique engagement ring, while her fiancé stood in the background, surrounded by nature's beauty. And let me tell you, fans went wild for her eye-catching double stone ring. According to Pop Sugar, it's part of a growing trend in Hollywood, with stars like Megan Fox and Ariana Grande rocking similar Toyette Moy engagement rings. Talk about being on trend. 
Of course, the well wishes poured in from fans and famous friends alike, but the spotlight was on that gorgeous ring. One curious follower asked about it, saying, Crazy cool ring, you'll have to tell us about it? Well, here's the scoop. Osmond's custom yellow gold ring features a radiant cut diamond set in four bead prongs next to a circular teal sapphire stone in a bezel setting. It's a stunning combination that perfectly captures the essence of the toy et moi trend. In her announcement, Osmond poured her heart out saying, I did not know life could be this sweet or I could ever be this deliriously happy. This love is so big and so uniquely ours, and I know it can do anything. So, that's all the gossip for today. What is the latest scoop you picked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed our content, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And consider becoming a member today to really support us. And don't miss out on our latest merchandise, perfect for Christmas gifting. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time.